Welcome to this Learn Learn Python tutorial. And this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take CSV files and load them into Python programs as lists. Uh, lists are great when you're loading these files in if you want to do something for each person in the list. So if you want to print out each person and their name in the list, that would be useful for that. If you want to sort the items into the, uh, the the oldest person, as this list here, so Bob's the oldest person, or if you'd like to group them into, say, all of the people that ha whose favourite colour is green, those sorts of things. So how do we do it? Well, CSV files, the best way to load them in Python is to use a CSV reader. So if you open up Idle, or whatever editor that you're using, and create yourself a new file. So, new file. And what we do now is we're going to import the CSV module. Uh, this is Python's module that contains the CSV reader, which is going to do all of the magic. But before we do that, let's save the file. And we're going to save the file to the same location as our CSV file. So our CSV file here is located on the desktop. It's called namesandages.csv. So I'm going to save it to there. And I'm going to call it, um, uh, let's call it people list.py. So, because we're going to load them into a, a list of people. There we go. So, I've saved it to that folder there. Doesn't matter what you save it as. You don't have to save it to the same location, but it makes it easier because otherwise, on the next step, you're going to have to put a, the full location, the full path of the file. So, we've imported CSV. Then what we need to do is we need to open the file that we're going to read. So f equals open and then the name of the CSV file. So name ages.csv. Uh, so that opens the file. Oops. And we're going to need to open in R mode, which is read mode. Because we're going to read from the file. And then what we're going to do is we need to create ourselves a reader. Reader equals csv.reader and then give it the file name. So it's going to uh, go and get the CSV module, open the file, and then create a reader. At this point, it hasn't yet read from the uh, list. It hasn't gone down through the list. It's just ready to rock. Good, so now we're ready to read. What we want to do now is let's create ourselves uh, the people list. So people equals, and then the square brackets. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go through each row in this reader and we're going to load them or append them to that list so for row in reader people dot append row there you go so it's added them all and then once we've done that we can of course do whatever we want to do so we can print like here are the people can't spell today in the list and then, of course, you can go for each uh, item in people, print, item. And hopefully now, if we run it, let's see how far we are. There we go. So that's worked perfectly. It's taken each person in the file. It's loaded it into a Python uh, list. And it's appended each person, and at the very end, it's printed them all out with each person's name. Good. That's it. Done. We could stop there if you want to. There are a couple of improvements, optional improvements, that you might want to do. So what's the first one? Well, the first one that we need to do is we need to say, oh, okay, you know what? In my list, yes, Bob is a string. I'm happy keeping him as a string. But... I'd like, obviously, each of these numbers, those are integers. So if we're going to use Python to find out in this list which one is the largest number, each of these items here are going to have to be integers instead of strings. So how are we going to do that? Well, this is a little bit more complicated, uh, but not a lot more complicated. So what we need to do now is instead of appending the whole row as one uh, single thing, we need to go through each item in the row and tell Python how we want it added to the list. So this one is just going to be left as it is. This one is going to be converted to an integer first, 
and this one is going to be left as it is. So how do we do that? Well, we get rid of row, we create ourselves a, an empty uh, list here, because we're going to put things in here. Uh, and what we do here is to say, okay, we're going to append row zero, leave it as it is. Then we're going to append row one, but we're going to, oh, where's that gone? We're going to append row one as an integer. And then finally, we're going to append row two. So hopefully now, I, by the way, I've just put some extra spaces around my list here just to make it a bit clearer as to what's happening. You don't need them. Um, so there we go. So now, hopefully, if we run through the list, there you go. You can see Bob is still as a string because it's surrounded by speech marks. His age is still uh, is now a number, and green is still a string. Perfect. So then you could do something down here where you start sorting the list from largest to smallest and things like that. Now, that's done. That's the first problem solved. But there's also a few other problems because sometimes when you get CSV files, they might be a bit corrupted. So, for instance, they might have some empty lines. Okay. Now, if we just save that and we run it in Python, it's going to come up with an error as soon as it gets to those empty lines because it's trying to do all of this magic here, but the line is empty. So it uh, has a bit of a meltdown and gives up. How do we cope with that? Well, nice and easy. We'll just wrap this bit here in a try except. And what we'll say for in the first instance here is we'll say, you know what? We'll try and do all that fun, fun, uh, fancy stuff there. If that fails, then we'll just leave that row. We'll just ignore that row. So that now, if we save it, yeah, I'll save it and run it. There you go. So even though it's got empty lines here and here, it, it will just uh, it'll just ignore those empty lines. Uh, you might also come into the situation where your one of your um, let's say here. This line here has, has only got two pieces of information there. What are you going to do? Well, at the moment here, it would simply ignore that entire line, which that might be what you want it to do. Um, another thing that you might want it to do instead is you might want it to just add the line anyway, but just ignore that third item. Probably a bit more dangerous. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, but hey ho. Uh, in that case, what you could do is just do row um, people dot append row. So try and do the fancy conversion. If that fails, just give up and add the row anyway. Uh, so that would work depending on what your program's doing. But that's probably a bit more dangerous because then you've got all kinds of funny things like this happening uh, with your unsanitized data. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I would personally just leave it with a pass and that will make sure that only complete and clean data there you go gets through to your final thing there you go so that is how you load lists from a csv file into a python program thank you very much